We have here the Trustfire MC5 magnetic flashlight because it says so there in the box. The box is the usual sort of a, a quality you know, box, there's nothing flimsy about it. It came in this bag which was also in another bag. In here we have, which way is it coming out? That way. A destruction manual, a charge lead, a lanyard, a spare seal, and the torch itself, which has got another type of charger on it. Uh, that's another thing you can lose. So according to this it's got 3300 3, lumen output, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2100, 2 so you've got low, next low, next low, next low, that's it. Uh, moonlight, which is how many lumens, how many lumens, how many lumens, 70, oh, 7 lumens, that one is. And then we've got 160, 550 and 3000. That's getting hot. Well, that, that beam's hot. And you've got strobe, you turn it off and then you hold it in for strobe. Oh, I can feel the, the heat off that, that's quite intense actually. I'm not really a fan of, you've got the Olight ones which have got those bespoke sort of end cap chargers. And you've got this one as well which has got that there. It's a good idea because it's a lot easier to charge instead of having to, having to faff around with the cover and that's immediately made that waterproof but it's just something that you can lose it's just something to bear in mind that's all so now it's all charged up with the powers of time travel and camera trickery it's night time good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another fantastic day on planet earth now it's 2 30 in the morning and i'm out testing a torch which is hang on oh yeah is that one which is the Trustfire MC5 so you hold the button down that's it on that's on its lowest setting uh, and then you click the button where is the button there you click the button no it isn't where's the bloody button you click the button and it goes to the next setting and then the next setting and then the next setting and then it'll go down to normal so we'll turn it up to full um, this is a very bright torch I think it's 11, is it 1100 lumens on full and my pond's a bit overgrown so it has got quite a beam on it It really has. Uh, this is on full and it is getting warm already. Yeah, that's getting warm. It's not getting hot yet. Let's go down to the pool. Oh, look at the fish! Thousands of fish. Yeah, fish, fish. What's the calling sign for a fish? The calling, calling noise. You turn it off and then you hold the button down and it goes into strobe mode it does get hot it's not hot enough so as you can't hold it but yeah it does get hot but with all the reviews that I do on here I'm not I'm not biased at all I've got, I've got nothing to lose um, you know if, if they send me one they send me one I'll review it and then I'll tell you the bad points and the good the bad points about this or the one bad point is that bespoke charger thing which I don't think is a very good idea. You got that charger there, which is just another thing that you can lose. Uh, but that's just me, you know. I'm, I'm a picky f. <laughs> so I finished my walk. This is at the end of my walk. I come from all the way down there, right the way round, and then I come 
back this way and then I test whatever I've got at the time if I've got anything anyway folks remember that it's always fun to be out on this measly earth all you've got to do is get out there do what makes you smile do what makes you happy and bollocks to what anybody else thinks